Hello. How are you? It's Laura. I'm here to do a what sold on whatnot video for you, but I'm gonna tell you I'm going through it today. Uh, as you can see, I had a leak in my tub that I offered to fix for my landlady. I don't know how to fix things, but I felt like I could do this. She has done a similar one herself in the past. She's like, you can. And uh, I fixed the leak. That was nice. But now there's a new leak in the basement. It's the main shutoff valve. And when I went to turn everything back on, it started spurting water all over me and drenched the left side of my body, my face, some of my hair. So that's where we're at. I wasn't going to do this video, but I had a really good show today. Um, so I'm doing it. And you're getting this. And hopefully you just find it relatable rather than like, Laura, why are you making us watch you in this state? So let's go and see what we did. We had a really good whatnot show today, which I'm happy about. Um, I did not have a very good sourcing trip yesterday. That was trash. Uh, I don't even know if I'm going to end up posting the video that I made for you about it. I may, because now I feel like we've got a theme going on. Maybe I'll post it. Um, but I got everything loaded up. Where, what am I doing? I'm all over the place right now. Got everything loaded up and didn't have super high hopes for my show this morning because I just wasn't feeling it, but I did well. And I was very impressed and very happy and I'm very grateful. And I did have some weirdness that I will tell you about while I go through this. Let's ship everything. Um, today's show, my total sales were $404, which is really great for me for a whatnot show. And I sold um, bop, 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 23 items. Why is it not loading? <laughs> All right, my whatnot show doesn't want to load. Not my show, but the shipping. There, it, there you are. Okay, I sold 23 items. Um, how many customers did we have? Wow. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten customers. Only one of those was a new to me customer. That's crazy town. And um, so you know that I do, uh, the customer pays up to $8.35 shipping. I cover any shipping above that. So I did have a shipping spend of $2.43 today. Nope. Totally worth it, I'm sure. I don't even know which it's attached to yet, but it doesn't matter. And we're gonna go through all of this. Um, so let's see. Number one, item number one. Item number one is my new to me customer. And hold on, we're gonna move you over here. Come here, friend. You're gonna need to be packed up. I might do that one second, actually. New to me customer who purchased this lovely little slip. This is just a half slip that I dyed myself and it was $10. So I'm gonna get that packaged up. I don't know if I'm gonna bother trying to get all my little numbers back in order today. Maybe I will. We'll see. All right. Let's wrap up this slip. It's very pretty. I did get my, repla my replacement, my new poly mailers. So I'm back in stock. I opened them and everything. That was nice. There we go. Nice little poly mailers. I pulled a couple of pieces from old eBay or Etsy or Depop inventory um, to bulk up today's show a little bit since my sourcing trip was so terrible yesterday. So, and I actually sold some of those, so that's exciting too. All right, I'm going to do this other piece up top here because this is also only a single and I don't want it dangling over the rack. This is a dress, this dress is really beautiful. Um, so basically it's like this, right? There's this sheer crochet top part and this is how the sleeves go, right? Um, it's a knit dress, it's really beautiful and I've had it in a few shows, it hadn't sold. It's hard to show it during a show. You really have to see the photos of it. I'm making sure I don't have anything on here. Um, so I don't know if that was why it hadn't sold previously or it just hadn't found the right owner yet, but it's, one of my repeat customers um, who I have also bought from, she's another whatnot seller as well. And it sold for 10, no, oh, no, no, no. I'm messing this up, I'm sorry. 
hold on, let's see, who bought this thing? It's not who I thought it was, I'm just losing my mind. No, who bought you? What is this? I'm gonna lose my mind in a second. All right, let's see, one, two, three. Uh, oh, all right. I know what that is, okay. Oh my God, guys. I'm crazy pants right now. All right, never mind. Um, I'm gonna skip this for the moment <laughs> because I will get myself all out of order, which also is in line with today's story. So we'll, we'll get back to that one, sorry. Let's see. All right, so the next one we're gonna do is a customer who purchased three items. And this is a repeat customer for me. So the first is this dress, it's very pretty. A little 80s dress um, and this sold for 15 bucks pretty standard for me um, let's see so while I try and wrap this up in today's show I had one of my return customers request that I bundle two items the two items that she requested that I bundle were like super similar to one another. Um, and you know, basically they were two bed jackets. And I normally like, I don't typically like bundling because with the way that the shipping is set up now, I don't feel like it really gives the customer much of a benefit. Um, you know, because I'm covering anything over 835 anyway, right? There, in the past, in old shipping days, I think it used to be beneficial to the customer, at least in some circumstances. Um, but these were two of almost identical items. And I was like, yeah, you know what? I'll bundle them, no big deal. So um, before I keep going with that story, this is the second item in this shipment. It's this pretty little paisley blouse very 80s, very shoulder pads, very all the things. Um, and this sold for <laughs> 10 bucks. So she asked to bundle the two items. I said, yes, I, um, the, both of the items had some flaws and I disclosed the flaws and she did not purchase the bundle, which is fine. Um, and I think that she, I, I think that was the point at which she asked if I would go a little bit lower on the pricing. And so I hesitated and uh, now at this point I'm starting to feel awkward. And I would like to clarify for all of these stories that I'm gonna tell today, when I say that I'm feeling awkward, I am feeling awkward because of me, not because of what they're asking or people asking, you know, it's just me. I'm, I'm not good when I'm caught um, what I consider off guard. And by off guard, I just mean like I was just not prepared for some of these questions, right? So I had, uh, I said that I didn't want to discount the items further, but I was really awkward about it. <laughs> I was just like, uh, 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 right? So she said, fine. So after that, someone else asked me if I would bundle items and like mention multiple items. And so now at this point, I'm like, uh, uh, once again, right? And so that, at that point, I said verbally, I said, you know what, I, I said, um, I do cover shipping over $8.35. I'm going to interrupt my own story here. This is the third item in this bundle that I'm currently wrapping, uh, this package that I'm currently wrapping. This sold for $15. So, um, so I said, you know, I cover anything over 835, so I don't know that bundling is really giving you any kind of benefit since the shipping's already covered. I said, so I'm gonna stick to not bundling today. Um, the reason that I don't like to bundle is because if I'm bundling multiple things, the only person who's gonna bid on that bundle is most likely the person who requested the bundle. So, whereas if I'm running the items individually, they have at least a chance <laughs> of getting bid up a little bit, right? They may not always, and a lot of my items do go for their individual prices, um, but sometimes they don't. There's a nice surprise up bid today in today's story. 
So anyway, uh, the person seemed polite about that. Um, but the rest of the time, I was so in my head and so distracted because I just kept thinking like that these people now think that I'm a total bitch. And it's like, I was just so off guard. I'm looking for, I don't know where they are. All right, I have bags and I don't know where they are. So we're gonna have to not bag them right now. Is that Okay. And I, I was just all like, off and in my head. And this is one of the reasons why when I do my whatnot shows, I load up with photos and measurements for everything because I can get thrown off somewhat easily, right? Um, I was never very good at negotiations on eBay and Etsy and things like that. If somebody messaged me for a discount, this is not just a message. This isn't even like an in the moment interaction, you know? Mm. If somebody messaged me, for a discount, I got really like, oh my God, I don't know what to say. So I basically created rules for myself. So today's show will kind of help me out with that. This will help me to create some rules in case I get this question again. Um, and I did have someone also ask me to reduce the ship, the price on another item. Um, again, like taking some of the flaws into consideration. And I did decline to do that and just said, you know, I'm sorry, like with, you know, with my whatnot pricing, it's kind of as low as I'm able to go with considering like what I paid for the item and the work that I've put into things, etc. cetera. Uh, I always feel like a fucking terrible person saying no to anything. Uh, again, that's just a me issue. Like I feel like I don't have the right to say no, you know? So um, I try to be as polite as possible. I hope it all went over well, but uh, it was really weird getting thrown off like that. And again, I want to reiterate, like, especially like, if by chance one of the people who asked me to do that was watching this, it's not you, it's me. Um, and I just got really thrown off. And there's another whatnot seller that I watch a lot who also, um, you know, says, he says that he is autistic um, and that he has ADHD. And when he runs his shows, there's times when people will request things from him and he wants to, um, cater to those requests and you can see him doing it, but then you can start seeing him get kind of thrown off balance. And, and a lot of times he'll just say like, you know what guys, this is like, this is too much for me and I'm getting really anxious now and I'm feeling overwhelmed. Right? And in the moments today, I totally felt like that's exactly where I was. It was really weird. Um, but I, you know, so hopefully I'll be able to use that information for myself in the future. I do know that I'm not good, like caught off guard. And, um, you know, I basically don't feel comfortable like taking the minute, especially in like a face-to-face -face or real-time interaction to say, hmm, let me think about that. Like, I don't feel okay doing that. It's very weird. So let's see, this third package that we're going to wrap up, this is also a bundled request. Um, so I think I had the bed jacket person request first, and these are the bed jackets, by the way. And you can see, like, they're pretty much identical. And I was like, okay, if somebody likes one, they're gonna like the other. So I wasn't quite as um, afraid of the like, the only person who will want to bid on it is the person who you know wants both of them. Like they're they're similar. I, I felt like it wasn't a huge risk. I felt like these were not things that were gonna skyrocket, or if they were, they would skyrocket together. But I, you know, uh, and the sa same thing. This was the second bundle request, which I had not mentioned earlier. There are two pieces that are different. Um, they are not meant to be a set. They just practically look identical as far as the fabric. They are different, but they really do look like they go together. And so I bundled those as well. I, you know, that one I was just like, all right, fine. <laughs> you know? Um, so the bundle together sold for $30. And maybe that's my misunderstanding too. Maybe when somebody is requesting to have items bundled, what they're looking for is a discount for the items themselves, um, you know, again, I was starting each of these at $15. So, you know, maybe the person who wanted the bed jackets bundled was hoping that I would discount it further because I bundled them together. Um, and on some sites, like for me, on like Etsy or Depop or whatever, that could potentially be an incentive for me to discount something because somebody is willing to buy more than one item. But on whatnot, my prices are really so so rock bottom for me, you know, that I, you know, I'm not really, um, 
I don't like I don't ever like saying that I'm not able to discount because we're always able but you know sometimes I would be doing it at a loss and I don't I'm not willing to do that so um, anyway but these two items I put them together I mean it's great that they're gonna live together anyway so they're this fun metallic sweater and pants they're adorable um, let's see so silly all right the next item that sold was to another uh, existing customer for me repeat customer and she bought this adorable little thermal set so this is well, I guess like 80s and it's extra large there it is and it's just a really cute little pink thermal set I actually have two of these so I had them listed on Etsy and I pulled one to stick in the show today and it sold, so that was nice. So let me hold this up and get her on her little merry way. And that one I know that I already adjusted my Etsy listing to reflect that it sold so that I will not forget. So yeah, that was such an off-putting experience. And then immediately after that show, I went and dealt with this whole bathroom situation. <laughs> so it's been a fun day. Um, and then I feel bad for my landlord because my whole intention was to save her money and and I'm not sure that that's actually what happened <laughs> because now we probably still need a plumber anyway. I did try to see if that was something like, I don't want to say easy to fix, like the main water valve for the house. I did Google like that leaking. And there are some like easy-ish solutions. I tried one, it didn't work. Um, basically tightening a specific nut, but ours didn't really have that kind of a nut. So then I, no, I'm just like, this is exactly what I was afraid of in the first place that I was gonna try to fix something and then make it worse. And like, I kind of fixed it, but then something else was wrong. So I don't know. Mm. So I'm having caffeine because clearly I need it. All right, this one, another repeat customer purchased two items she got this sweater which i've also had listed on depop for eight million years took it down today um i think this sold for 15. let's see this sold for 19 so i probably started it at 15 and then it got bid up a little bit so that's nice um i'm really that's the other lesson i'm learning from my whatnot again today i learn this lesson every fucking week apparently Whatever preconceived notions I have about the inventory I have and whether it's good or bad, whether it will sell or not sell because it's been in previous shows or whatever, uh, I'm, I'm wrong a lot. <laughs> so, you know, again, going from 15 to $19 is not major action, but for me, most of my items sell at the price that I start them at. So it's, it's impressive to get a little back and forth for me. And then the second item that this customer purchased, um, she paid $20 for. I'm pretty sure that's what I started it at. It's this skirt, which is very long, maxi length skirt. Look at that thing. It's amazing. I love this skirt so much. I've had it in a lot of shows and it hadn't sold yet. I was a little bit surprised, but very excited that it finally sold. It is really long. I am 5'11 and this thing um, I haven't tried it on on, but just holding it up to myself, like it hits the tops of my feet. I have really long legs, so I don't know what this does on like your average height person, but you know, um, I, I was suspecting that that's why it wasn't selling. I don't know if I'm correct, but, uh, let's see, depot, depot, D1, sorry, I'm looking at my, um, Oh, good. Cool, cool. The thing that was listed on Depop, I've got their little storage bags and I'm using those poly mailers to ship them out in. So. Anyway, yeah. So that was, that was fun. And the item that got bid all up today uh, was very surprising to me. Let's see when we get to it. All right, so this next one is my customer who bought a whole bunch of stuff. So she is the one who purchased the two bed jackets, um, which she did end up purchasing, not bundled, just for the regular, you know, in a regular bid. Um, and 
and like I said, maybe her original intention was asking if I would bundle them because she, when she said bundle, she meant that I would offer a lower price if she bought the two together, but I don't think that, uh, that wasn't in my mind at the time. <laughs> I was assuming that she thought it was going to give her some kind of shipping advantage, um, and I pretty much knew that it wouldn't, but I was like, okay, you know, so I think I just misunderstood. And now I feel bad. Um, but here we are. She's getting these two bed jackets. They're really pretty. And hopefully she likes them. Um, let's fold these up. I love vintage bed jackets. Uh, I mean, look at the, the lace detail. Right? So pretty. <laughs> All right, let's see. Sorry, now I'm all silent. I'm uh, involved in my packaging. So let's see. Oh, this one's not really, <laughs> it's not folding the way that I was hoping it would, but that's okay, I think we're all right. All right, two bed jackets. And then, she, and those I believe were 15 each, but let's just double check. Yep, 15 and 15. Okay, thought so. Um, oh, what are you doing? What is this? You go away. All right, and then she, go, oh, I love this thing so much. This thing is fun. Um, I'm gonna have to fold it up for you. There's this jacket that uh, is so ridiculous and so awesome. There's the tag, but I have to zip it before I can show it to you. I mean, it's been in a haul. You may have seen it already, but uh, it might not have been in a haul, actually. I had a couple of little trips this week to my, my small little local thrift guy who used to run the Salvation Army and now has his own place. And um, I did not do haul videos from those and I didn't include them in anything. It was just really tiny little quickie trips that we made. And so I got this from him. Um, look at this thing. This is an off the shoulder jacket. It's oh, so amazing. I love it so much. So it was so fun. And I tried it on during the show just to, you know, to display the, the shoulder situation better. Um, and that sold for $10, which I'm still like, why did I list that for $10? But okay, I did. So here we are. Listed it for 10. She, this woman bought six items from me. So, you know, and she's a, re a repeat customer. Um, so she deserves a $10 jacket. <laughs> let's see. Let's get this folded up. One. There we go. Okay. Put that. And then what else did we get here? Oh. <laughs> This dress. Okay. So she bought this dress. It sold for $44. So there were a couple of people that bid on it because I listed it for 40. So this is a black and red crochet dress with sequins on it. It has a metal side zipper. So the story with this dress, I got this a long time ago many years ago. I don't even know how many years ago at this point, but this dress has been on Etsy um, a long time. I had it up just like on a dress form at one point, and then at another point I re-photographed it. Um, I mean, it's been up on Etsy for minimum of three years, probably longer than that. I got this from a vintage shop that was like closing and liquidating their inventory. I could not tell you how much I actually spent on it because so many of their pieces were really like, there was some stuff that I spent like a dollar on, but most of it was like five, 10, it was really low prices. I think the most I spent on anything in there was like $20 on an individual item. Um, so I don't remember what this dress was, but the reason that I finally included it in a whatnot show today is because this dress, oh my 
Um, the dimensions, the dimensions, the measurements of the dress are really off. So it's like a 28 inch waist, but then a 44 inch chest. And the sides are just like sort of hanging out there, you know? Now I suppose it's possible that it just belonged to a person who had like Dolly Parton measurements, right? Maybe, I don't know. Um, let me see. And like I said, this sold for 44, which meant that there was a little bit of bidding action on it. So, sorry, figure out how I'm gonna package this. I'm also, she also bought this item, number 63. I'm not done telling the dress story, but I have to, you know, the dress has sequins on it. I'm gonna put the dress in a poly mailer because I don't want the sequins to catch on. She's got like a knit dress in here and those bed jacket. I don't want it to catch on the other pieces. So, um, hold on. And apparently I can't think I'm doing this. So. Anyway, so this dress, um, the measurements of the dress are really off and I, I couldn't figure it out for the longest time. And because of the plate, there's a side metal zipper. So because of the placement of the zipper, it seemed like just taking it in at the bust was problematic. Also, I wouldn't do it. I don't know how to do that. But, um, you know, I also suspected that maybe there was smocking in it at some point that had been taken out or something. I don't know. And, and uh, like I explained all this during the live, somebody asked like, where was the smocking? I said, I, I don't know. This is why I think maybe it was smocking, blah, 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 blah. So hopefully she does something amazing with that dress. It's so gorgeous. I love it so much. Um, I had it on Etsy for 250 bucks, which I honestly think that like, had I not had any hesitations about the dress and the measurements and all that stuff, I think that that would have been a great price, but whatever, selling it for 44 in a whatnot show is great and it's good energy to move it out and let's go. So there's that. Um, the next item that she purchased was this other thing <laughs> that I got confused on before. So this knit dress, which is really beautiful. So she got this. So I'm gonna just wrap this up and we're gonna get our lives together here. I need to, <laughs> everything is such a mess on my table. I also just checked the time and um, it's 3.15 and my post office closes at four and you know, I've just been like a little off today with all of these plumbing issues and everything. So it's been a weird day. Just gonna lint roll this a little bit. I feel like there was a little lintiness on it. So make sure that we're good. Okay, all right. Just gonna fold this up nice. Lint. This dress, this knit thing, sold for $24. So again, there was some back and forth on that because I believe that I started this at 20. I know I didn't start it at 24. I doubt that I started it at 15. Um, I wish I could figure out how to tell you guys accurately like what the bidding started at, but I haven't figured that out yet. Anyway, 24, so that's nice. And this is a beautiful dress. I, I suspect this might be a St. John dress, but the tags aren't in it anymore. And even if it's not, it doesn't really matter. I mean, it's gorgeous. So, all right, let's see. Push that. Okay. Don't get cats, guys. I swear to God, like, it's not a lot, but like on a black thing and there's like, two or three like scattered cat hair and you're like, oh God. All right, and then the last thing that she purchased was this slip that has been in a couple shows. Um, just a black, vintage black slip, but they're gorgeous. And this sold for $15, so let's see. Yeah, I think this was probably its third show. I can kind of tell based on what item number they had because it's number 63 today. In the first show that it was in, it would have been somewhere in the one through 30 range. And usually the second shows, they are, because I have 30 items per show, like they're usually 
earlier than number 60. So if this was 63, this is probably at least its third show. But sometimes it just takes a little while to find the right person. So that was that, was that shipment. I have one more, goodness. All right, this one was another return customer bought this sweater. This was $15, very cute. Um, let's get her wrapped up. Okay, yeah. I just saw a spot and panicked, but it was the spot that I already knew was on this sweater and that I just closed during the show. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right. go over there. Next is another return customer. This is the sweater that really surprised me. So this is really cute, right? Red dolman sleeve. This is the tag, Chaus. And I don't know what it's made out of because the, the fiber content tag is so incredibly faded. I know that it's at least partially lamb's wool. Um, and that was about as much as I was able to make out. Um, I forget what I started this sweater at. I feel like it may even have been $10. Um, this came from the attic haul. So um, I did have to like depill it. It had a lot of pilling on it. And so I did a lot of work with that. But, and you know, and obviously like cleaned it. But, um, this sold for $32. And like I said, I think like even if I started it at 15, that's quite the bid up, the up bid for my show. Like that's not the kind of action that I typically see. And I certainly would not have expected it for a plain red sweater. Um, so I don't know what it was about the sweater that made it so popular, but I will take it. Thank you, thank you. So that's going off to her new home, to an existing customer. So thank you, person whose name I will not disclose on the internet. I don't want to do that. All right. Um, then this is another person who, what? Oh, okay. Uh, this is another repeat customer for me. And she bought this t-shirt, goofy little, I love this thing. It's so weird. Screen stars. I don't know if this is just like some kid's face that their parents like decided to plaster all over a t-shirt. I don't have any idea what it is, but it doesn't matter. It's really cute. And let's see, this sold for $10. So that's fun. And I think that she may wear it herself, um, which is super fun. I mean, she, obviously if she sells it, that's fine too, but it's cool. This is the kind of t-shirt that like I like if I'm gonna have a vintage t-shirt for myself. It's like all soft and twisty and you know, weird and it's great. So I'm very excited that it's going to her. She's got a super fun sense of style and um, I feel like this t-shirt fits right into that. So that's fun. So get that in there. And then my last package is another repeat customer. She bought a total of six items for me. Make sure that I'm not missing. Okay, I got it. So. Number one is this pajama set, which is something that I dyed by hand. So that's fun. I'm getting slightly panicked because of my time frame here, but I realize that if I'm not recording this video, it's not like I'm really wasting time by talking while I ship. So I think we're still okay. I'm just gonna have to do, I mean, worst case scenario, my post office closes at four and that's like, the post office I prefer to go to. Um, there is one that's open till five. And if it was really, really worst case scenario, I could go to the one that's open until seven. That one's just far away and I don't want to. But I mean, I'll definitely make the five o'clock one. But I want to make the four o'clock one because it's way less effort for me. So let's see, let's get this folded up. And Oh my gosh, Laura, my fold job is 
leaving a lot to be desired at the moment. Hopefully she will forgive me. All right, there's that. That sold for 15 bucks. And then this next shirt also sold for 15. A little 70s dagger collar. So cool. And then as usual, like I do this thing. So I was listing the shirt and I realized that one of the buttons was missing. And like, you know, I'm pretty sure I have a button that matches, but didn't take the time to put the button on last night. So then I list it and then I figure if it doesn't sell, cool, I'll be with it. <laughs> but it sold. So I told her, I said, I'll, I said, it's missing a button, but I will replace it before I send it out. So I did. So that's done. You know, I did that like after being doused by the faucet in the basement and after fixing my tub so 15 bucks for that and then she did this other fun little t-shirt let me see come on yep another little novelty 70s tea these are so cute 15 for this one as well and come on you look good by the way, like, look, look at this. That's all because I was caught in the downpour in the basement. I just decided to leave it, and this is what you're all getting today. <laughs> this is what you are getting. The true behind the scenes. All right, and then this cute little t-shirt for five bucks, little vintage jerseys. and I'm even just looking at this t-shirt so when I was auctioning this t-shirt it was right after one of the um, bundle requests and I was feeling super thrown off and like just <laughs> like like not there and not with it while I was running this t-shirt and I felt bad like I felt like everybody can tell that you're not with it right now uh, but I couldn't fix my brain. So this set sold. Um, it's a cute little orange creamsicle skirt and top. And let me see, what do we sell you for, my friend? This sold for 15. This is a really cute set that when I found it, it was very musty smelling. So I had to wash it. And I didn't think there would be an issue. Like it's, you know, it feels like it's like polyester. Um, and when I took it out of the washing machine, it was all like crunched up. It is like a crepey kind of polyester. Um, and I was able to steam it out and like get its length back, thankfully. But the skirt is, um, the skirt's fixable. I just, I was trying to steam the pleats back into the skirt and it was working really well on the top, but as it got to the bottom, I just couldn't get it to cooperate. Like my steamer, you know, if you want to do it properly, you kind of have to tug down while you're steaming, right? And my steamer is just like not stable enough to be that precise, you know, without a burning myself and everything. But again, I did tell her all of this during my live. I said like, ideally for the future, you may want to just dry clean, but if you decide to wash it, you can steam it back into shape if you have a steamer, but you know, not everybody has a steamer. Other resellers do. I suspect she's a reseller, but I don't know if she's getting this for personal use. I'm assuming she's not, but all right. And then the last thing that she purchased, um, is this dress, which I love and that I currently have other things sitting on top of. Come talk to me. Okay. 1950s beautiful dress look at it gorgeous this sold for I want to say 20 and you're gonna be like what is wrong with you Laura why did you sell that for 20 here's why when I bought this dress I uh, got her home and noticed like awful pit stains I was like okay I'll have to deal with that so um, I soaked it and treated the armpit stains and it, when the dress was wet, the armpit stains did seem like they had gone away. Um, and I was watching it carefully to make sure there was no color bleed, blah, blah, blah. 
and everything seemed to be going really well. And then I took it out and let it dry. But it seems like in the drying process, um, a lot of the pink spots, the pink flowers, color bled onto other areas. So that was really disappointing. Um, and that may all come out, but I'm not very well versed in that stuff. There is a product called Synthropole that I have not ever tried before. Um, the fabric on this is pretty delicate. There's some other color run removers, but I wouldn't want to just run this through a washing machine. I would want to, you know, I don't know. I, I was nervous about some of those. So, um, so I don't know. I disclosed all of that stuff. She bought it for 20 bucks. Like I was going to hold this aside and put this on Etsy, but then after the color bleed and stuff, I'm like, you know what, let me stick it in the whatnot show. And you know, so if it were me personally, I would still wear this dress as is. Uh, it did still have some of the underarm staining, discoloration rather. Um, I still think that can come out, but it just needs some more work. And now that it color bled, I was a little nervous about it. But anyway, that was everything for my show today. So I need to go and now print all these stupid labels. It's 3.30. I have um, a good 20 minutes but if I want to boogie my behind up there. So I'm going to go do that. And um, I appreciate you watching. Thank you so much. I hope that you had fun with this. <laughs> I laughed a little bit at my weird couple of days. Um, I still have to do my evening show, so we'll see how that goes. And I'll fix this up. This, I don't know, like, what's now I got? But anyway, I appreciate you watching so much. Thank you. I hope to see you again soon. What sold on what not evening edition. All right. So you know that the morning show was really great. I had a total of like $404 before fees. I think it was like 23 items sold. Um, the maximum number of viewers that I had in the show in the morning at any given time, I think was 19 viewers. My evening show for comparison, I sold $212 before fees. Uh, I think it's, yeah, 13 items which are being shipped out to four different people. And the maximum number of viewers that I had in the room at any given time was 11. Although just from like watching it during the show, the majority of the time there was only between like five and seven people viewing my show. So um, it felt very slow, but overall I'm happy with the number of sales. I am still trying to establish myself in the evening slot a little bit better. And, but I do think I'm making progress there. And so, you know, overall for the entire day, you know, 600 bucks before fees, it's 500 and change after, you know, I'll take it. It was, it was a nice day. Um, I did start recording this video, meaning I thought I was recording it and I was not. So I've got some of the items already folded up probably better for you because there was a lot of like refastening of buttons involved in shipping these out. But um, for my first order, three items are going to a new to me customer. So I have this 80s black and gray dress, really pretty. Um, it has 154,000 buttons that had to be fastened. This sold for $20 to this delightful young woman. Then I have this gorgeous blue floral. This is a sleeveless dress. It almost has like a a faux halter look to it. Um, this sold for $30. And this item, I was literally about to like ditch the show because I my viewership had gone from five people. It jumped instantly down to two, then down to one. And one is me. Then it went back up to two for a second. But at that point, when it jumped quickly, I was like, okay, it's that's my cue. So I was about to get out of the show but I guess she had come back in and she said, hey, I put a pre-bid in on something on this dress. Um, so I was like, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. So 30 bucks, so that's great. And I'm very glad that she told me about it. Um, you know, pre-bids are really frustrating on Whatnot. I'm sure I've talked about this before. You know, cause Whatnot doesn't tell you that somebody has pre-bid. And like sometimes people will put a bid in before the show starts. And okay, but they still don't jump it up to the top. And I could scroll through all those items and see if there are pre-bids. But also, I've had it happen a lot of times where um, 
I've already like run an item, talked about it, nobody bid, I put it back, and then somebody will bid on the item and whatnot doesn't let you know that somebody's put in a pre-bid. Like you have to run it again for that bid to kind of take effect, if that makes sense. Um, you have to actively like start the auction and then that bid is like the, considered the first bid. So, you know, I've got to imagine that they're working on making those prioritize in your queue or something. I don't know, I, but I'm really glad that she told me. Um, so that was good. Um, the third item that she purchased is this 80s jumpsuit. This is adorable. This sold for $15. So she is a new to me customer. She bought three things. I hope that she is happy with them. They're really cute. And um, let's see, there's that. Yesterday was such a bizarre day for me. Um, as you know from the morning edition, I had some plumbing woes. <laughs> I was so proud of myself for being able to fix the bathtub situation only for the main water valve to then have a leak. So my poor landlady had to call the plumbers out anyway. Um, but they came out this morning and they fixed it and everything is back to normal. Yay! Thank you for that. So that's good. But I am still now dealing with like, look at this side of my hair is all straight because this is the side that got drenched in the spurting of the water valve. And then there's the curly side. So anyway, there it is. I am not gonna reset it yet because look at this, I have to do my roots. And like, I feel like the next time I wash and do my hair, I really need to do the whole shebang, like the bleach and everything. Not the content you signed up for, I know, so sorry. Anyway, all right, my second order from this show is going to a repeat customer for me. She ordered three items. They're all so awesome. The first item that she ordered was this. I love it. Da, 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 da. It's so amazing. Uh, I think it was 25 or 30 bucks. Let's see what it, 25, which was the starting bid. Um, so awesome. I so desperately wanted this thing to fit me. I would have sold it anyway, but I was going to wear it for one of my auction shows but it was just a little too short in the torso for me. So that didn't work out. Hopefully it works out better for her. It's so cool. I love it. That's number one. Number two, I don't know why I'm doing this, is this Custo Barcelona top. Look at that. That's the back, but it's amazing. And then there's the front. And this sold for, I don't know, 10, 15, something like that. 15. Really cool. I love it. Custo Barcelona has such neat stuff. It's either like, I either tend to really love it or really think it's weird. And when I really love it, it's so great. So <laughs> see, I'm trying to fold it up so that the, oh, so perfect. There we go. My fold job, baby's face, front and center. I love when I can do that, that's fun. All right, and then the third item that she ordered, oh, more sequins because she's got stellar taste this thing. So do you know what this is from? This is from Dumpster Dive. This is very exciting. Um, I've sold a couple of things from the dumpster so far. I am so happy with like, it's, uh, I mean, not just because it's fun and exciting to like find these pieces and stuff, but also because like they would have been in the, they would have been in the garbage. They would have been gone forever. And there is literally zero reason for that to have happened. Zero reason. So, uh, let's see. All right, so this one, get this all folded up. What did this sell for? This sold for 15 bucks. So, that was nice. So, we've got those three. Let me see, how can I package these up? That, that, all right. Mm, got, oh, that's a giant poly mailer. I do not need that. That is way too large, Laura. I didn't put the last little stack in a poly mailer either because I was trying to be faster about it. I feel like I'm gonna have to like fight these to get them in. So I, I honestly, I'm gonna skip the poly mailers till after I stop recording this because I feel like it's gonna be tedious. So let me get these out of my way. All right, my next order um, was another repeat buyer for me and she purchased four items. I don't know what all of this is today that I'm doing. Maybe I do it all the time and I'm just not aware. Probably. Little wrap skirt. I love this. Nice cotton wrap skirt. It's really pretty. 
and uh, there's the tag. So much fun. This, I'm gonna guess. I'm gonna guess it sold for 15. Let's see if I am correct. 15. All right. It's fun. Fold this up nice and neat. Oh my goodness. So pretty. Okay. One. All right. Wrap skirt. Done. Second item is this cute little red sweater. So this is from the attic haul. And I think it's hand knit, but I'm not positive. Um, there's no tags. It's really beautifully knit, but it also, the construction kind of looks hand knit, not manufactured. And it sold for $10. So really cute little red cable knit sweater. So let's get that folded up. Little fuzz there, okay. Two, and then the third item that she purchased was another lightweight sweater. Oh, third item she purchased for. Cutting her short a little bit. Uh, this sold, that's not it. <laughs> this sold for $10. Very cute. I did not rearrange my hangers yet, but that's okay, because after I'm done with my shipping today, this all gets taken down, so. I have a second rack that's usually packed full of other clothes. So I'm at the point now that when I do my shows, um, I am, what do you call it? When I do my shows, I have two racks that I am using, but one stays in the other room usually sometimes i'll bring it in here but i you know it's cumbersome so let's see um i am losing my train of thought entirely anyway that other rack is still pretty packed and um when i take all this down and put it all back on that rack it's that rack is so jammed i have to really start getting more caught up with um my regular listings in between <laughs> But stuff kind of hangs out on that rack until I photographed it and listed it for Etsy, eBay, Depop, or until it sells and leaves my house, um, whichever of those things comes first. This sweater sold for, let's see, $17. So I started it at 15 and it had a couple of bids. So that's good. I didn't realize that it had any bids beyond my initial, what it sold for. So, let's see. All right, let's fold this up. Um, okay. There we go. Nice big fat sweater. And I think that's all for her. Yes. And then my final package for the show was another new to me customer. Hang out there, please don't fall over. New to me customer, she ordered three items. So the first is this cute little hand painted sweatshirt that I picked up at that church thrift where I also got the towel dress if you remember that. Um, that was fun. So she got this and this has been in multiple shows. Um, it's been one of those pieces that I probably ran through proactively for the first few shows, but now it's just kind of been like loaded into the show, but I don't necessarily run it proactively. Um, but that's the nice thing. People still, it's all in there so people can request it. So basically, as long as I haven't listed it on Etsy, eBay, whatever yet, I still just kind of leave it in there and people can request it. Um, I still get caught up on that whole, like, everybody's going to be bored because you've had it in four shows. But again, I had stuff in, in yesterday morning's show where repeat customers were purchasing things that had been in multiple shows. Um, so, you know, whatever. We all know at this point that it's frequently all in my head. This one also has had several showings. Um, this sold, I want to say this was 15. Let's see. Yes, it sold for 15. So it's 
really pretty. Um, I hope she loves it. Let's see, get this all folded up nice and neat. Little 80s sort of chiffon number. It does not want to stay, it's very slippery in a way, like the fabric is just gliding over itself and unfolding as I fold it. So do our best there. And then the last thing that she got was this Y2K dress. It's really cool. It's this mesh, very long maxi dress with this like tree print on it. It's pretty amazing. And let's see, what did that sell for? $15 also. So it's funny because her name is familiar to me. Um, but she's a new buyer for me. So I don't know if I've just seen her at other shows or if I'm just confusing her name with somebody else's name. But either way, it's good. Maybe she's been at my shows before but just hadn't made a purchase yet. I don't know. So, but it's fun. Hopefully she enjoys all of these. Get them shipped out quickly. Getting them shipped out quickly, like, I, I mean, I obviously do it partially because I get paid faster <laughs> if I do that. But also I really like being able to get things shipped out super quick for people. I always get good feedback on any of my platforms um, with fast shipping. And it's interesting because I, I feel like, you know, in a reseller standard, like, you know, next day shipping is a pretty standard thing. But I guess a lot of people do two and three day shipping. Like I know that my boyfriend has his shop set up. Uh, he gives himself two to three days. Although he ships out, you know, immediately the majority of the time. He just hasn't set it up for his shop as a requirement for himself. Um, I set it up as a requirement for myself for eBay because you get, you know, top seller status. That's one of the conditions. Um, and then I just, you know, do it for Etsy and everything anyway. So, um, but people seem, even when I have it set as like next day shipping, people still seem really impressed with the speed of it. So that's always fun. Anyway, that's my four orders from last night. So we made it through this video. Thank you so much for watching. And um, we'll keep going and see how the evening shows do. I have to see if I can, got, if I can get next week's show preloaded at least a little bit. This like last minute rushing around. I sometimes will like get a week and like a week ahead of myself and get some stuff preloaded, but then I quickly like catch up and it falls apart again. So it's definitely like feeding this whatnot beast takes, you know, a lot. I don't know why people are doing this, like multiple shows. Every they have warehouses, Laura. That's how they're doing it. They have like actual literal fucking warehouses full of stuff. They don't have to set up the corner of their bedroom every time they run a whatnot show. That's how they do it. Okay. Anyway, thank you for watching. I hope that you had fun with this and uh, I will see you again soon. Thanks.